like people are always trying to go to the next level, which is fine. You know, you're not being stagnant. But at the same time, it's like make yourself into a better person, not just focus on one thing. You know, not 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 just focus on I'm gonna be a better DJ. No, I'm gonna be a better creative. No, I'm not. My name is Cleco. I'm from PG County, Maryland. I am a sound selector, creative director, a creative, and a co-founder of Last Night. <laughs> I know I can be better, way better than what I am right now. Before I went on tour last year, I had this like thought of like who I will be at the end of this tour. Once I started being on this tour, be this is real shit. That whole thought of me being who I want to be disappeared. I can't see myself in the future no more. When you when you realize cannot see yourself in the future no more, it's like you're you're open to suicidal happiness, like suicidal success. You feel me? So for example, my suicide success, right? I'm going overseas. I've never been overseas. I'm going to unknown territory where there's like terrorists over there. You feel me? By myself for two months. Three pairs of clothes. You feel me? Two pairs of shoes. You feel me? I don't know how to speak any other language. I'm from, this, I'm from PG County. And the thing is that the suicidal part is that I know I can die on this trip. I know I can die on this world tour. But the success part is, is that at least I'm gonna die happy. I went to college twice. I dropped out twice. I went to Montgomery College in Rockville. I was studying uh, graphic designing. I was going through a, through a depressing time where like, I was getting like, really skinny and all that crazy shit. And like, I couldn't focus. I was more passionate about like the times where we had breaks and the people who I was talking to. Because everyone was very interesting. And I developed that, that um, sense of connection with people. And that happened to the next college as well. In high school, I knew everybody, even the people who didn't have friends. And that's how I learned to network. Once you actually talk to people who don't really have friends, don't talk to people for real, you understand how to get to people, you know, open up, you know. I always believe that if you support people, genuinely supporting people not only just because of their music, but who they are as a character and as a person, it's gonna come back to you. The reason why I'm doing all this is to connect people, bruh. It's not necessarily to DJ. Like, I just know how it is creative and it connects people, you know? It makes people feel some type of way. Last Night is a creative platform. You know, we are here to show people different sides of life, the world, perspectives. One thing that's different between last night and other collectives is that, you know, we're not only just music. Music to us is a smaller picture. The bigger picture to us is conceptualizing something. So if I have an idea to create a mix or, or a production, I can tell it's a root to paint this thing right here. This is what I was hearing and can you paint it, you feel me? Like convert the energy of a painting into a physical form. It's possible. And that's what last night is. And right here, I got the last night tattoo. Right here, this is the first, uh, you know, neat when it was just me and Nico. Um, and then like right here is the newest one, the Lotus. You know, when you say last night, you know, it's a common statement. Yeah, I did this and that song, song last night. You keep saying last night and you think of us, it's gonna be stuck in your head. Just like how you say, no, I'm not. Cause you're gonna think of me and not the statement. The DMV crowd is very, very hard to please. It's like, there's a lot of ego, there's a lot of this and that, so that made people think about the, you know, crab in the barrel mentality. But if you're smart, you can use that to your advantage. You have like a bunch of people with egos in one crowd, but if you can make them dance, smile, and talk, you can make the world do the same thing. And it, it helped mold us. And so whenever we go out of state, we already know we're gonna kill it. 
that's how it contributes. You know, there's there's an art scene here. There's an art scene that you know people are you know definitely definitely in the culture. You know, and it's like just like how um, back in the day in New York, all the rappers knew each other. You feel me? This is DMV Renaissance. I'm happy to be a part of it. This is no, I'm not. Thanks for watching Undergrad Media.